Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with an empties video. I'm really proud of myself because normally I wait way too long to do these and my little drawer unit thing completely fills up, but I'm only about halfway there at the moment. So I'm really proud of myself. If you'd like to see what I've used up or thrown out, decluttered, in the past couple of months, I guess. I don't think I've done an empties video since I moved down here. So I wanna say my last empties video was like late February. <laughs> then keep watching. <laughs> okay, so a little bit off camera. I have my recycling bin here ready to go for the ones that are actually empty and I can recycle. So I did go ahead and separate it this time where it is a bit of a smaller amount. So I used up two bottles uh, of the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. This is the one that has fragrance in it. I always thought this was fragrance free, but I don't think it is. Yeah, so I always thought this was fragrance free, but there's actually a new one that's available now in the skin relief line that is fragrance free. And I bought that one thinking it was the new packaging for this, but it's actually a different body wash. So <laughs> either way, they're both great. If you have more sensitive or drier skin, I tend to switch to those in the winter time. That is a really important product to me. Another body product that I used up here is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in almond and honey. I did repurchase this product. Um, so I have a full size of that again in my shower right now. It's a good body scrub and it's from the drugstore, so it's affordable. This one I actually tweeted about a while ago. This is the Tarte Brazilians Plus Self Tanner. What I did not know when I purchased this last year is that it has a six month expiry. So I applied it once um, before New York, like probably like a month or a month and a half before. And it was really streaky and just really bad application. Looked at the bottles, crap. So I went ahead and ordered a new one. <laughs> so that one is repurchased. <laughs> okay, moving on to hair. I used up a full size can of the Garnier Fructis Frizz Guard Dry Conditioner. I talked about this, I think it was May 24th weekend vlog that I did, because I was looking for this. I was out shopping, looking for cans of this. So I have two or three different backups. I think I gave one to mom. I'm on my second backup now and I think I have one more can. Um, but these are super inexpensive, kind of hard to find, but they are a gold mine. They are awesome at taming down those flyaways and they have that amazing Garnier Fructis fragrance. I also used up a Redken One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment with 25 benefits. I've been buying this for a couple of years now. It's a great leave-in product for styling. Um, so I think I'm on my fourth or fifth bottle of that now. It's really good and it smells really nice too. It's kind of like a candy smell. Um, another product that I didn't really like was the L'Oreal Paris Total Repair 5 Restoring Mask. Decided to try this just to see if there were um, any drugstore options out there to replace this product. Um, which I'll talk about next. And it just kind of worked like a regular conditioner. It was really disappointing, to be honest. Um, I do really like the shampoo and conditioner from that line, though. The Total Repair L'Oreal, I think, is my favorite of the L'Oreal drugstore products for hair. And the other product I picked up here is the Frederick Fricai Technician Color Care Lux Color Mask. This is the one that has the grapeseed oil in it. It smells amazing. It's a pink hair mask that I've gone through like six full-size tubs of and I found two mini ones at Marshall's the other day and I was very excited. So I have two mini backups right now, but I don't have a full size order yet. Okay, moving on to skincare. Um, so I used up a tube of the St. Ives Acne Control Apricot Scrub or apricot, if you say apricot. This is the one with salicylic acid in it. It is my ride or die facial exfoliant. I've been buying it for years, using up a actual tub of the regular apricot scrub right now. Um, but the salicylic acid is my favorite formula, but you can't get that here in a tub. So I also used up a um, niacinamide and zinc serum from The Ordinary. This was my first of this. Um, but yeah, that is a really good face serum. Used up my first one on my second one right now. Moisturizer that I got as a 100 point perk from Sephora. Didn't really like this. Skin Fix Resurface AHA Renewing Cream, but it didn't really do anything for me. Sephora Hyaluronic Acid All Day Hydrator hydrate and glow. So this is from, I think their new natural skincare collection. Didn't really do anything for my skin, but I think if you had more sensitive skin, you might like that because it seems like a pretty gentle moisturizer. A moisturizer I actually did really like. I was using this a bit over the winter. It was just really like soothing and nice. Um, this is from a brand called Belief and this is their The True Cream Moisturizing Balm. So I think they are kind of Asian, at least inspired or based in terms of a company, but I do really like this. It's the only product I've tried so far, and it has just a really nice relaxing herbal lemon smell to it, which I find is really nice to put on before bed. 
and it is a bit more of a moisturizing product. I wouldn't be able to use that in the summer, but I do really like it. If I got another sample of it, I would definitely use it. Maybe even purchase it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, from Junk Elephant, I used up a mini size from the birthday set the skincare one. So this is the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser with cantaloupe and glycerin. I actually did really like this product. It's a very nice, good, uh, not too fancy cleanser. However, the price for the full size is like $45 Canadian. Where my Origins checks and balances is like half of that and I love that cleanser. I just kind of want to just keep repurchasing that one, so <laughs> yeah, so I didn't purchase that full size, but I did really like it. I have an eye cream here. This is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This was recommended to me by a Sephora employee when I was going in looking for something for dark circles because I had a lot of good reviews and I guess they were told and was really popular by people picking it up based on the reviews online. And I tried it for like three months and I saw like no difference. So for me, it didn't really work out, but a lot of people do really like that product. The last like skincare item I wanna share with you here that I used, I actually purchased this in New York the last time I was there. So when I was there in like November, like before Christmas, at Ulta, I found a Real Techniques cleansing facial sponge. So I did like it. It's kind of like a loofah for your face. It's not too scratchy or anything. Like it kind of still feels kind of soft, even when it's dry, but it's just one of those things that I felt like I didn't really need to spend money on buying it again. But I'm glad I tried it. Maybe if you're someone who needs a way to exfoliate your face without using a like a product, like a, an exfoliating scrub or something, maybe you can't use those. Maybe trying something like this might work for you, just where it's like less ingredients on your face. But for me, I just don't see the point in me purchasing another one, but I am glad I tried it. I have two little fragrance samplers here that I got from shoppers last year, I think when I was buying some Christmas presents that I tried. La Vie et Belle from Lancome. This one is a little bit too mature for me, but it is really nice. Like my mom really liked this one. I sampled that to her and she really liked it. For some reason, I think I had two. I don't remember. Anyway, I remember her liking that one. Um, but this is the one I ended up purchasing a rollerball of in the American Sephora in Times Square. So this is the Aqua de Joa uh, from Giorgio Armani. So I ended up buying a full-size roller ball of that. I really like that fragrance It's like super fresh and clean and it just like meshes really well with my natural smell as weird as that sounds to say Okay, so this is the biggest category I have actually because I did do a bit more decluttering to my makeup collection I guess I've gotten really really strict on like what I keep for how long and that kind of thing So I do have two sponges down here Let's just get those out of the way because they're always in my empties the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge if you don't know, if you're a new subscriber, that's my favorite foundation sponge to use. I actually really don't like the Beauty Blender. Also Real Techniques, these are the mini ones. I like these for applying and blending my under eye concealer, so I do spend money on the smaller sponges as well. I have two ColourPop products in here that I decluttered. This was the highlighter and one of the eyeshadows that I bought in my ColourPop order with Amanda and Lola NL. Um, so I haven't used these in a really, really long time. They kind of smell funny now, so I decided to get rid of them. The uh, Super Shock uh, Cheek Highlighter in Lunch Money and the uh, Super Shock Shadow in I Heart This. When I got it at the time, I really liked it, but I just never use it, so. I'm that person that always reaches for palettes and I rarely use single eyeshadows like ever. Speaking of single eyeshadows, um, I finally decided to part ways with my L'Oreal Paris La Couleur Iridescent Finish Pressed Pigment, I guess it's called. These are really popular back in the day, especially with the Maybelline cream colors. Do you remember those? Like, So it's just one of those ones that came with this thing to like keep it pushed down. It's just a really nice like shimmery eyeshadow. <laughs> I used it as like a darker lid shade. It's really old. It's from like back in my 2014, 2015 days, around when I started my channel. Um, that's when I bought that, so <laughs> it's time for that to go. I have a mini size of hand food here that I forgot to put with the skincare stuff, but I used up one of those. Okay, let's do these sprays. Um, so I have a used up bottle of the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, very popular product. If you don't own a bottle, you should definitely pick up one. And then I also have an empty bottle here of the Urban Decay D Slick. This is the oil control setting spray so it's pretty good for mattifying the face so I used up that I used up a Smashbox photo finish light 
primer. It's my favorite face primer throughout the year. I did try a mini of the pore minimizing Smashbox primer. This is the one with the purple packaging. Didn't really like that. It didn't really excite me very much. I have a cracked up, very well loved uh, compact here of the Rimmel Clear Complexion Pressed Powder. That is my everyday setting powder for my face. I have a used up, uh, completely used up pretty much because it looked like I scraped the bottle a little bit, the YSL All Hours Foundation in the shade B10. That's what I'm wearing on my face today. It is my favorite foundation lately. I have not found something that I like more in a very long time. I have a used up tube or at least an old gookie tube of the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. I repurchased it. Again, wearing it today. My everyday under eye concealer. I have two Anastasia brow wisps here. Um, everything is really sticky in the bottom of this right now. <laughs> the Anastasia brow wiz in what shade? So both, both of these are the shade taupe, which is usually what I get. I can also wear soft brown, they're very similar. So I have a used up uh, Lancome Grandiose Liner in black. This is the one with the angled um, wand, so you can angle it differently. It's got a foam applicator inside. Very deep, very pigmented, black, easy to use eyeliner. Got a couple of mascaras here. So I have my ride or die favorite, the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly in Blackest Black. Uh, a mini of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, not my favorite, it's okay. And this one I was kind of disappointed by. This was the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara. I actually won this in an Instagram giveaway. This is the only one I've ever won. It sent two of these, so one for you and the bestie that you tag in it, and I won. Um, so I was sent these, but I ended up not really liking that one. I love the butterfly one. Like, the Voluminous Butterfly is my absolute favorite mascara, but that one I just, I don't know. Um, maybe it's the brush. I, I think I prefer the more synthetic brush type, to be honest. I also have a brow product here. I think I may have bought this in New York, but this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I don't know if this is full size or mini, um, but it looks like this. And it is a very nice precise applicator and everything, but the shade was just a little bit off for me. So I decided to get rid of it. This is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Lumiere. Old, well used. I did love it when I had it when it was new. Um, but I never reach for it, so it's going in the garbage. Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is my original palette, and I repurchased this part here. So you now can get the Compact Duo, so you can get this one, this one, or this one, which is much more convenient. Um, definitely fits in my makeup bag better, that's for sure, so I'm really happy about that. So I technically, yes, repurchased it. Just the shade that I actually use. I'm also getting rid of my Smashbox step-by-step -step contour palette. So this has basically a contour shade, a bronzer shade, and a, well, I guess technically highlighter shade that I never used because it's very dark and yellow for me. I did use that contour shade before I got my Kat Von D palette. It's okay, it's not my favorite formulation of powder ever, but it did its job. I have a cream shadow stick, we're almost done guys, the Bobbi Brown cream sh long wear sh cream shadow stick, and I got this in the shade Bark. I got a sample size of that in gray. I think it was a 100 point perk when Sephora opened in St. John's, so that was a long time ago, but I tried it and it was like the best formula ever. Super easy to blend. It stayed on my eyes forever, didn't budge. It was perfect. So I bought the brown and I used it a couple of times when I got it. I haven't reached for it in like over a year and a half. So I decided it was time to get rid of it. And last but not least guys, we have three lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. My original red lipstick, the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. I do actually really like this formula, but it is really old now and worn down. So I had to get rid of it. I'm also getting rid of this one, my Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche. Yeah, Amuse Bouche lipstick in Sake because the fragrance changed. Like it, it doesn't smell right anymore. So it smells expired to me. So I'm going to get rid of it. My heart breaks so bad. Um, but this is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang from Marc Jacobs. This was my most expensive lipstick to date, but I just never reach for it anymore. It's probably expired. It doesn't really smell like anything, but I haven't reached for it. So I'm going to get rid of it. But it is a exceptional lipstick formula, so I do recommend it. Okay guys, that is it for my empties. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Stick around for Vlogmas, which should be coming up soon along with the fall favorites. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below, make my day, and I will catch up with you guys soon with my next video. Bye!